do I do this? It's been so long. I keep on looking at the viewfinder. I'm all out of practice. What is happening? Okay. Hello, everyone. So, <laughs> so I've got a new squirrel box, as you might have seen. Here it is. And I'm going to open it for you and try what's inside. You ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right then, so let's open up this bad boy. Got my scissors ready for once. And... Do -do -do -do. Boomy, you're blocking it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got in here. Hope that Boomy didn't break anything. Ooh, what's this? Is this a watercolor palette? Oh my gosh. Der, der, dervent? Dervent? Dervent. Dervent. Let's see. Did it survive? Yes, it did. Oh, it did get some scratches. <laughs> but that's probably my fault. It comes with one of these. I've actually got a few of these already, but can't have enough. It's actually a bit weird that it doesn't have a cap, like protective cap. Let's open this one up a little bit more. Okay, so this is a graphite aquarelle pencil. Is it lead? Or is it black? So it's graphite, yeah, it's graphite, it's a pencil. That's cool. And I need an eraser. Can't have enough of those. I still turn to like all the bad erasers, you know, the regular ones. Even though I have one of these, I still like forget that I'm boomy. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get this open and see how needed it can actually be. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that action. Ugh. Yes. Okay, I'm actually destroying it. Sorry. Do you like this? That looks like it's it, actually. I think this is kind of high quality since it's only these three things in this month's box. I've heard of this brand before, but I'm not really good at knowing what kind of brands are high quality or not. Oh, this is beautiful. It's so delicate. Looks so soft. Milky Rat. So you can find her on Instagram under Milky Rat. And they also added some artist tips. What colors are tricky medium? Yes, it is, yeah. And that's why patience is key, which I like. Before you start painting, if you can have two water pots, one for clean water and one for dirty water. I actually have four. <laughs> I can never have enough water pot. When you start painting, I recommend to apply a wet wash with a lot of water and a small amount of pigment to create beautiful and clean base. Once the first layer is dry, start building up your layers slowly. Let every layer dry properly. Taping down in paper is a great way to stop the paper curling when wet. That is a really good idea, but sometimes I like to twist the painting around. I like to be flexible. So what I do is that when I've finished painting it and it's almost dry, like it's not tacky anymore, I put it in between some books just to like put pressure on them so that they might flatten themselves overnight. And that usually actually helps. So if you've already like bulked your paper a little bit, try to look, just like put it in between some books and it might save it. If you, make a, if you made a mistake, you can try and fix it by quickly applying water to the area and lifting it up with a paper towel or sponge. And that's happened a lot of times. <laughs> Sometimes I just, um, if it's too late and I see that the spot is there for good, I, I, if I like rub anymore, it will just ruin the paper. I just put a really thin layer of um, white acrylics or gel pen on top. And I mean, it's not, <laughs> you can't match, match the paper perfectly, but it helps at least. Remember that even with a smaller selection of watercolors, you can create a lot of awesome shades and colors by mixing or diluting. That's very true. Look at this. Oh, you know, it's so strange, but I love it when paper has this edge. It's not that big of paper. It's out of the ordinary. But yeah, we got it all. Uh, let's just try to make something out of it. So we're back and since I went on a walk early today and I saw so many mushrooms, I really want to paint mushrooms. <laughs> so how I'm going to get that into this month's theme, which is, I forgot to tell you earlier, it's false prayer. And it's difficult to get 
mushroom into false prayer theme but I thought that this photo might work um, I took this one last week and it's of a mushroom that's bending in on itself do you see it almost like its head is curved in prayer so maybe I can sketch something like that of a mushroom with its head bent in prayer it's like a bit chubby down here I want to draw really lightly even though it says it's like aquarelle pencil I've noticed so many times lately that some of the aquarel pencils I have don't really blend that well when you put water on them. Alright, so we've got the pencil down. Let's see how the watercolour works. Hope that it's not going to be too much. Oh. oh my god, it's been so long since I used one of these. I hope that's not too much water. Oh my gosh! Might be. There's some pooling. Okay, let's try to soak it up. Ooh. You can go swimming in this pool. It's a nice orange colour though. What is this? This is turning into a puke green, I should have known. I'm one of those people. Where like drawing and painting in front of people never works out. It always turns out really, really bad compared to what I make when I'm alone and when I'm <laughs> when I'm comfortable. Not that you guys make me uncomfortable, but like drawing and painting in front of people is never something that I've been completely comfortable with. And it's also d like strange for me to be this far away from the paper, because when I draw, I'm like. Quasimodo leaning over the paper. My back is hunched. It's not good for me at all. <laughs> but that's always how I've done it. Like, I, I love being an inch from the paper when I paint and draw, and especially when I do small details. But if I'm any closer than this, you'll see the back of my head. And I don't think that's why I clicked the video. So I added a moth. Because I'm a moth girl, I, I love moths. I don't really care for butterflies. Well, of course they're beautiful. It's not like I see a butterfly and it's like, oh, ugly. It's the same with dolphins, they're basic. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's almost like a, it's a given that you like butterflies and dolphins. And they are gorgeous animals. I don't mind them, but I feel like the moth needs some love. Everyone forgets about the moth. I don't know if I've shown you, but I have a atlas moth in my office. It's apparently the biggest type of moth that exists. Not the one I have though, that's just a specimen. But it is the biggest, um, biggest type. It's still a bit more grey on top, so let's find some black in here. And then go ham on this boy. Ooh. That's dark. Ooh, okay. Oh, I spilled some water. I should be more patient because now it hasn't really dried. Let's just wait for it to dry so that I can work a bit more on it. I'm not so sure about this, you guys. <laughs> it always takes me a little bit of time to get used to new supplies. So I like the supplies. It's nothing wrong with the supplies, it's just me. <laughs> so I want to try again with a different type of mushroom on, on the other piece of paper. I've been really inspired by mushrooms lately. It's September after all, so it's the season of mushrooms. Oh, I can't get a straight line. What's with me today? It's probably something that I should think of the next time as well, that sitting on the floor is not the simplest way to paint. And I can feel my butt falling asleep. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna call this one finished. Might get some shading on the, the moth's wing here one of the wings are behind the other one. 
that was not dry. So I'm gonna call this one a day and I'm gonna sketch up some new mushrooms on this second piece of paper and uh, let's try again. All right, we're back and let's just get right into painting these mushrooms. So let's start with a nice toadstool. In Norwegian, they're called fluesop, which means fly mushroom, probably because there's always a bunch of flies where these mushrooms are. I took some pictures of, uh, of some toadstools today and I almost choked on a fly. It was quite disgusting. And then I got a bit paranoid, like, oh my God, has this fly been eating from this toadstool because they're poisonous? And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> did I accidentally get some toadstool in my mouth and swallow it? I don't use these kinds of travel brushes that often just because I struggle to handle them. I know that you probably can with practice, but if I can, I'll just use my regular old brushes. I know how they'll behave and they don't surprise me with sudden squirts of water all over the place. Wait, did I paint on the wrong side of the paper? No, I didn't. <laughs> like back when I did the, the marker thing in the, in the woods and I'd painted it on the wrong side of the paper. I got a bit embarrassed by that. <laughs> Good to have you guys to tell me why the paper didn't work though. to run away from the sun. I don't know if you saw, you probably did. Uh, the sun started coming over and made it all really, really like both dark and light, so I had to move. Okay, that was the MacGyver theme song. What am I doing? The last time I started singing on the Mark Me in the Middle, theme song and this time apparently it's MacGyver. Does anyone miss the, the shows from way back when? I mean I still have the Inspector Gadget theme song <laughs> in my head sometimes. Inspector Gadget Inspector Gadget and the same with, oh, did anyone of you watch Oggy and the Cockroaches? With that really weird theme song, that weedy 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 weedy. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just sitting here by myself singing old 90s shows theme songs. Day well spent. All right, I'd say that this is done. So, this was the first one. I'm a lot more satisfied with this one. And the colors turned out to be quite good. It's just like, it's just this one. It's tricky to get it was the right balance of water and, and paint, but the paints are really pretty. All right, the guys, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. I'll keep doing these scroller box unboxings. I think they're so much fun. But I also want to do different ones. This has been the third one in a row. <laughs> so I should just film something else soon. 
uh, I've been working on some stuff so hopefully you'll get some new content before the next Crawler Box arrives but till then I'll see you